Hello everyone, welcome back to Curse the Dawn Late Night Gaming. Of course here in Star Citizen Area 18. Tonight I wanted to uh, first thank everyone. The channel keeps growing and we keep getting more subscribers. That's really great. That does come with a bit of challenges that I want to discuss as we head over to the uh, spaceport. Yeah, don't take that out of context. Okay, so one of the things um, that has kind of been mentioned is, how do I say this? Well, so if you buy ships in the game, um, you are somewhat invested in the game. You pledge ships at this pledge store, you're invested. And some people have the opinion that if you are invested in the game, you shouldn't be critical of the game. And I would just like to be clear that I feel the exact opposite of that. I feel that if I have invested in the game, I have more right to be critical of it than most because I want the game to be good because I have invested in it. I am, as I've said in the past, not a fanboy. I don't jump on the fanboy trains and become blind to everything that uh, is happening. I know um, Star Citizen isn't great in all ways, shapes, and forms. And I uh, am not willing after 10 plus years to just lay everything every problem at the feet of well it's an alpha so let's be clear about that I, I do not think that because you invest in the game you cannot be critical i've had people comment well you've obviously bought a bunch of ships so you have invested and you shouldn't give it a hard time well i, I just don't feel that way at all and then another thing that has uh, raised its head again in the comments is music during the videos. Um, I add music to the videos. I have a very limited library of music because of copyright strikes. It is hard to find music even if you pay for it, even if it's free to use, you still get striked against and you have to, to, have to fight the strike. And so I've got a few songs that I have found don't cause a copyright strike and I use them because I don't like blank air. I don't like times when I'm flying and not speaking and nothing is happening and it's just nothing. Now, luckily, this is my channel and therefore I can do what I want in it. And if what I do isn't to your liking, you are absolutely free to look at the hundreds and possibly thousands of other Star Citizen YouTube channels out there. I would rather you stick with me and see where we go with this channel, but if that's if music during the video isn't your thing and you're willing to say this is a deal breaker for me, then I am great. I'm sorry to hear that. But this is my, these are my videos that I create and I d decide what is in them. I completely understand and I want to um, work with my community and um, do things that they are interested in me doing. But I mean, I guess if the whole community came together and said, curse, we do not like music in your videos, it drives us all nuts then okay, I'll take it out. But a minority doesn't rule here. And um, I also didn't like the tone of the person that commented saying, get the damn music out of the video. You don't you don't have any control whatsoever of what I do. And, and it's always easier to get things done speaking. by being cordial and nice than demanding. If you're gonna demand, I'm, I hate authority and I would just automatically not do what you say. So. Just so you know, again, if if people have comments about music in the video, you don't like the music, 
let's hear it. So far, I only hear from one or two people Thank that are vocal about not liking music Stanton's in the videos. Whatever your so we there's that. Anyway. So what are we doing tonight? Well, um, as I mentioned, I am invested in the game. Should be all set. And during the Invictus show, which they still haven't taken this signs down from yet, it is July 10th today. I know these videos are released a little later, but it's July 10th today, and this, they still have Invictus and, and DefenseCon videos up. But um, during that, they they announced that the hey new Hornet was the new Hornet, and the old Hornets were getting retired. That made me panic a little bit because I've got the Heartseeker Hornet. I had bought that before the they mentioned that. However, I did have one other Hornet that I wanted to grab before they became unpurchasable. Did I fall for a trick? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe this is just was just a ploy to make some sales. I don't know if they're really pulling everything or not, but I went ahead and bought the Hornet. I, I hate I hate buying ships in the pledge store because I I feel I'm like feeding a system that I don't like, but. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Anyway. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Uh, they, they said three, right? But anyway, I did. I'm not. I'm not proud of myself, but that's what happened. So the latest travel information. Be sure to check. So let's take a look at it tonight. I kind of wanted to keep it on the DL because I wasn't. I was kind of ashamed of myself for doing it, but. Yeah, it's this one. It's the uh, wildfire. I am a sucker for World War II planes and just kind of like with the heart seeker, the wildfire has kind of that World War II vibe, World War II fighter vibe. And uh, yeah, it has a ton of problems. Let's take a look here. So, um, yeah, it has issues. It is about the closest thing in game you'll find to a barn find. You know, like a, a car you find abandoned in a barn. This is about that type of quality. It is a ship that has kind of been forgotten by um, CIG and... They said all the existing Hornets are going to get love and get updated. And boy, this one needs it more than most. I love the kind of matte silver and matte red on it. Um, I love that when I listen to channels about Anvil and ship lore that this ship is mentioned. It is a single seater. But Yeah, I don't know, it's cool. Let's look at some of the issues here. Okay, it has storage. It has 650k SEU. Neat. That wasn't what I was trying to show here. Ah, uh, here we go. See, there is no co-pilot seat. It is a single-seater inter-pilot seat. Now, right off the bat here, you will notice that the HUD is goofy. We have... We have the, uh screens up there that stay put while the uh, uh, okay. those black screens stay put while the actual frame of the screen moves with the cockpit watch let's see if I can just open the canopy 
<laughs> you see the screens are down here and the actual display is up here in the black squares. Um, I mean, I don't know every ship in the game, but this is the only one I've ever seen this happen with, I think. Um, yeah, and then when we close it, they come back and match up with the screen again. So that ain't cool, but hopefully be fixed one day. Um, looking around here, um, it's pretty standard stuff for the Hornets. Anthem Aerospace. All systems online. It's got two Tarantula 3s and a Revenant. And then if we switch, let's see here. Sorry, I was looking over to my stick. If we switch to four marksman missiles. Okay. I found out something interesting today. I do have a Steam Deck, Stream Deck, sorry, Stream Deck. I also have a Steam Deck, but this is a Stream Deck used for streaming. It's the panel made by um, Elgato that has buttons on it. And you can set those up to control things in Star Citizen, apparently. I haven't done it yet, but wow, that sounds cool. Um, let's see here. Let's look for a second. Let's just do our standard. Let's look for a bounty, huh? Contracts, bounties. Risk target VLRT right there. Um, where is that at? Walla. Okay. All right. I don't necessarily want a VLRT, but there's an LRT right there, huh? No. The just low risk target. Okay. It's weird that. This says 4K right here, how much you're getting paid for it. And this says no K. Well, up here in the corner, it says 5,000. Is this a player or is this a... Nope, it's got two names, not a player. All right, let's just accept that then. And then we need to always... Well, no, I'm not going to. I. I've always been switching to call to arms, but those don't count for bounties, apparently. I did not know that. All right. Not as dramatic as I was hoping. You are free to launch. so weird going out. You get those weird kind of things. Um, sometimes. Thank you. And please visit again. Bring up the landing gear, which is something I would bind to that uh, Steam Deck, or Stream... I keep saying Steam Deck. Stream Deck. But of course, then it unfolds to a normal Hornet. We all know what they look like. is drifting today. Wonderful. I have found a way to fix it, though, I think. Let's wait till we get up here to the space station. Should be... Yeah, okay.
All right, are we still spinning? Yes. So if I reach down, hold on, let me turn this out there. Okay, if I reach down and I unplug the stick. Yep. That always seems to solve it, I guess. This is the um, cheapy Logitech uh, Extreme 3D Pro. That's the stick I have right now. Love something more appropriate, but getting stuff to Canada is expensive. I don't know, I just think it's a nice looking ship. I've never, I've, when I first started playing this game, I didn't like the look of the Hornet, but it has honestly grown on me a bit. Dynamic nav point. What? What is that? I mean, granted, I haven't, I've been like recording videos way ahead of time and haven't played in a bit, but that's really awesome. Nav point dynamic. That is my first time seeing that. Bottom drive is now off. No, I don't read every update from them. I neutralizing here. Come on. Let me target something. I don't want to target that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Avenger Warlock, by the way. I just wanted to see what it was before I blew it out of the sky. And of course, if we use the alternate. Oops. Keep that one on. Huh. Target destroyed. Okay. Target destroyed. Where's your bunny? Um, where did your friend go? There he is. Below me somewhere. It's gonna blow me up. Is he on the ground? Oh, that's just a bunker. Um, 
Hmm. Where is his friend? was a quick dark mission doesn't matter because I'm going to cut this out anyway. Leaving private property. Okay. Take a look at what uh, we got going on here. We let's run over and refuel or something. Um, we are on Lyria, so that means mining facility. Two? I don't know. Five, two, but five is probably better. Five is more in the sun. I think we want to see the ship, but fine, fine, fine. Ah, oh, still doing it. Here. Now we aren't, okay. Yeah, so this, uh, the wildfire is very ballistic focused. Um, we got bullet, 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 and then real bullet, you know? <laughs> so it's pretty fun that way. And then the heart seeker that I have is the opposite. It is all laser, 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 and you can take a friend with you. So I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm, um, have any like buyer's remorse from getting them i just wish i wasn't so weak <laughs> you know i i'm i think the without ships to buy the game what's what are your what's your goals of the game you know are you because the in my opinion the goal is to buy ships so if you've already bought them all in store what's the point so I really don't like to landing gear deployed. I really don't like to just buy ships in the store. I like to the idea of I need to earn a ship like I did with the caterpillar. Hmm. 
Someone mentioned that uh, the, Her the they like the Caterpillar, but the Hercules is a uh, probably a better choice, and I agree. It I probably is. I just am a Drake person and felt obligated to go Caterpillar. So, All right, let's take a look here. Landing, restock, no service on repair. That's nice. Yeah, so this made pretty quick work of that Titan, and and it should have even made quicker work of if I was a better pilot. But take off complete. You get what you get. Uh, we didn't look at it folding up when we were back at the. I always like to. I always like to see that, so I assume other people do too. When you bring the landing gear up, and it all does its little fold. Ooh, yeah, I love to see it. Let's see. Goes up into the wing. It's pretty cool. And like I said, I love the silver and the matte red. That's pretty cool. Brick, that's like a brick red. And uh, I don't know, it, it just, when I heard they were going away, it just it triggered me immediately. I was just like, oh, I gotta get one before they're gone. You know, because you're not gonna be able to buy them in the store anymore. Now I wish, I really, 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 what is with all these cutlasses? They're everywhere. Um, I really wish there was a sense of like used cars. I, I, as I mentioned back during Invictus, I love the idea that this is the old Hornet and a new model of Hornet comes out with different features and then a new model of Hornet comes out with different features. And I think that's really cool. It's like how cars work. You know, you go to a used car lot and buy an old one. And I think that'd be awesome if there was like, use ship lots where you buy an old beater or something. I think that'd be really cool. And then they came out with the, um, I don't know if you've seen it or not. Okay. You probably have, they've posted everywhere, but they have that graffiti vulture skin. And I think that's so cool to, to give it kind of a beater kind of look. I don't know. What do you think? Um, let me see here. Let's, let's go back. Let's go back to, uh, I'll just do a cut here. Let's go back to area 18 and actually look at that skin. I want to, I want to show you guys that skin. All right, guys, here it is. This is the dark star paint scheme, which is graffitied. Um, I made a joke on Instagram that it looks like I left it parked too long out front of Grim Hex. Because <laughs> I think if you left your ship sitting there, that's what would happen to it. <laughs> or it just get straight up stolen. Um, but it's got such, such nice detail. I mean, it's got the big, when I saw this, I'm like, oh my God, I have to get this. I mean, first of all, it's just a skin. It's not expensive, but um, it's got the big graphics of whatever, and then you get up close to it, you can see little smaller, like words and things. And then it, they even have like, you can see if you can see like scratched into it, like help me scratched into it. Let me get a bird's eye view here I don't know I just think it's pretty fun I have been rocking the um, Longhorn skin in the past and I really like that but it's been screwed up the last few updates it's been like half on the ship and half just gray so that's been bumming me out But I just think this looks really cool, especially that like beige kind of boring undertone paint that you that you probably would see on a spacecraft is something dull. And... Help me. I don't know who 
who's who needs help so bad, but I just think this was a lot of fun. And they did, of course, the same one to the uh, Corsair. I don't know about it on a Corsair. I don't know. I can see it on a Vulture. A Vulture is like a work, work ship. You know, people, um, Corsair is somebody's baby. And if anybody spray painted one of my babies, I'd be like annihilating them. So I don't know if it works so much on the Corsair. Did I get it for the Corsair? Yeah, of course, but I looked at it and I was like, ah, I don't know. But I am um, have that com completest problem where I got to have everything for a particular. I have to have all the DLC for the game I buy and etc. etc. So. Well, can't get up there. Not that I've ever tried before. I've actually never tried to get up here before. Oh, that's like a, it's like a glass tube. Keep clear. Do not cons. Do, do not obstruct while in operation. Moving parts can cause serious injury or death. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for joining me tonight. I um, hope to do a lot more with the um, wildfire there, and I really look forward to the updates they're going to give it to make it complete. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really good fighter. I mean, as you can see, it's pretty strong. I'll maybe do some more bounties with it some other time. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed looking at it, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for joining me. Listen to me go on and on. Okay. Bye-bye.